We're talking early extension today. So as you see in this picture, we've got Jack Nicholas, the Masters. So you have coaches talking about, oh, you've got, you've got to stop the early extension and you've got to keep your butt against the line. So we've got Jack here. Doesn't keep his butt on the line at all, does he? So not everyone needs to reduce the early extension. Some people need it. Jack needs it. Louis Oosterhausen needs it. Mark Leishman needs it. Bryson G. Chambeau will need it. Sergio Garcia will need it. There are a few players that need early extension. So if you're getting taught to keep your butt against the wall and you can't hit the shot, maybe early extension is what you need. So this can all be tested and measured. So there's a couple of things. That the people that have a weak right-hand grip, so we call that a side cover grip, will need to have some early extension because Jack's got a weak grip. So the club's outside his hands. Club goes back. Now, he's got a steep shoulder turn and that club is quite steep. So if you draw a line down here, it's quite steep, isn't it? It's not quite pointing to the ball. So then as he's in the top of his backswing, looks like the club's slightly across the line. Now the right elbow is behind his hip. He hasn't got it in front of his hip. And he's not staying bent over as you look at him. He's come off that line. He's come off the line. The elbow's behind the hip. Now he's got to stand up to create some room and hit through it. And bingo, what does he hit? Fades. So if you're getting a coach that's telling you you've got to stay in posture and you're not hitting it too well, chances are that's not the pattern for you. Not that I'm saying you everyone needs to start, get out of posture. Some people will, some people won't. But this all can be tested and measured. So be careful on the information you are getting because it might not apply to you.